Today we're going to show you how to change the defrost thermostat on your side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of wire strippers, and a heat gun. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is pull the refrigerator out far enough to remove the plug. Then we'll open up the freezer door and remove the bottom shelves and the baskets and we'll set those aside. We next need to remove the screws that secure the evaporator cover on. There should be five quarter inch hex head screws that hold that in place. Once we removed the five screws securing the cover to the frame, we'll need to remove three of the shelf rails on one side or the other. Now with the shelf rails removed, we can tilt that evaporator cover away from the frame. We'll take that out and set it aside. Now with the evaporator cover removed, we have access to the defrost thermostat. So we're simply going to disconnect the two leads that go to that thermostat. They have some inline connectors to those, so we'll pull those apart. Now with the leads removed, we can disconnect the clamp from the thermostat. Take caution around the tubing. And lift that off and then we'll remove it. And we'll take it to a suitable work surface to do the rest of the repair. Now with the old thermostat removed, we still have the inline connectors intact. So that allows us to do a splice operation a lot easier. So what we'll do is we're going to cut those wire leads fairly close to the thermostat. We'll cut both leads fairly close. And next we're going to strip about a quarter of an inch of the insulation back from those leads. Inspect that copper to make sure that it's nice and bright and it's not corroded. And we'll take these butt splice connectors, slide those over the wire until it's fully inserted, and then we'll crimp those in place. Make sure they're good and tight. Now we'll simply trim the ends of the new thermostat leads. Again to about a quarter of an inch. Just twist them a bit so they'll fit into the butt splice connector easier. We need to make sure that we have enough room over those inline connectors to slide our heat shrink tubing on. Next, we'll slide that tubing into place so that it covers the butt splice connector. And then we'll heat that with a 
he can Now we'll just finish up with the heat shrink. Make sure it adheres to the butt splice connector. Let those cool a bit before we attempt to reinstall the thermostat. And the thermostat comes with a new mounting clip that we'll use. The thermostat will line up with a hole in the mounting clamp and then we'll just snap that around the suction line to the evaporator. Now that we have the leads attached to our new thermostat, we're ready to install that in place. Now, when installing the new thermostat, we're going to set that about an inch back from the aluminum to copper joint there, so it's going to sit right about here. First step will be to slide the mounting clip on. Let's open that up and just let it hang there. We'll place the thermostat roughly where it should be. the hole in the top of that mounting clamp with the button on the thermostat. Hold it in place and clip it on. Next we'll reconnect the wire leads. Make sure it's fully inserted into the quick connect coupler. Reroute those wire harnesses into the retaining clip on the back wall. And now we're ready to put the evaporator cover back on. So we'll position that place. We'll just put one screw in it to hold it there. Line up the rest of the holes, make sure they're all going to line up. Install the remaining screws. We'll reinstall the shelf brackets. Now we can reinstall the shelving in the baskets. Now we're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.